You might have noticed that some mobile devices have covers that automatically, when they close, turn the screen off. And that happens because there's probably a magnet inside of that cover. As you can see right now, a physics toolbox magnetometer is measuring the background magnetic field, and you'll notice that the values are not at zero. In fact, the Earth has got its own magnetic field, and within different dimensions, it's recording a different value. So if I turn my mobile device at an angle, it changes those values. If I flip it, it dramatically um, results in some change. So this is a great opportunity to take a look at how strong is the Earth's magnetic field and in which dimension, or which direction, which angle is the magnetic field the greatest. However, there are times when um, you might want to take a look at digital readouts, for example. Um, so all you have to do is go into settings and go ahead and change that and this will give you the total magnetic field readout. This can be helpful for um, identifying what is magnetic versus what is not magnetic. Right now you can see the value is around 365 microtesla. If I bring a magnet nearby, um, that value does change. Again, you're able to pause that as necessary. And if I wanted to, again, go back and have a little bit more detail in my graph, I can simply change it back again. And then if I bring my magnet nearby, you can see it dramatically changes the strength of the magnetic field. And this is pretty um, uh, uh, interesting, especially when working with magnets that might have non-traditional poles. They might not have poles at the ends of the magnet, and to have students identify where those strongest points are can really be quite exciting. In addition to that, um, it can be really helpful to um, identify, to deal with the um, inverse square, inverse cube laws, um, depending upon the types of magnets that you have. And using the digital readout in that case would probably be most appropriate. So that is all. There's plenty of sensor settings you can take a look at um, within the settings options. And um, of course, record by pressing on that floating red plus button.